Hi Pisces, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Pisces. <clears throat> Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' this relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys's relationship so listen pisces could be dealing with a capricorn but this devil energy can speak of something being toxic restrictive and binding this can speak of a legal binding contract but also temptation clarify the devil for pisces clarify the devil for pisces clarify the devil for pisces it is clarified with the empress could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. And this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Pisces, listen, you know, very well could be temptation here to start a passionate new beginning with baby mama, baby daddy, ex, someone you have history with. However, you can tell me it's toxic because someone started a passionate new beginning with baby mama, baby daddy, or someone they have some type of history with. Pisces, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Pisces, listen, you know, you're dealing with your soulmate here, okay? Clarify the two of cups for Pisces. Clarify the two of cups. For Pisces. Clarify the two of cups for Pisces. It is clarified with <clears throat> the ten of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a ten, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Pisces, listen. Either you're telling me that you're releasing this burden because you guys are getting ready to start this passionate new beginning, starting over. 
You can tell me your burden dealing with your soulmate because they started a passionate new beginning, making it toxic with baby mama, baby daddy, or someone they have history with. Or your burden by some type of connection that you have because you're tempted to start this passionate new beginning with someone you have history with. Pisces, you have yourself, the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. Very well could be a change in your actual luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid, moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airways, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid, moving energy of being intimate. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here, okay? Maybe it's just going too fast and it's all about divine timing which but something is moving really fast here you can tell me this is about travel you can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another or you're telling me that someone is communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else you know we'll see pisces i don't want to speak too soon but i feel like you're being tempted by someone okay you're communicating with them ready to get this party started right with them okay but maybe moving too fast here we'll see okay pisces you have the lovers <laughs> could be dealing with a gemini but the lover says you know i breathe you in you breathe me in we are so magnetically attracted to one another we cannot get enough of one another babe i need to make a choice so pisces listen you can tell me that first of all could be dealing with a gemini you can tell me that you guys have a strong twin flame soulmate bomb ass connection here. You can tell me that there's another other lover, okay, in the picture on your behalf or your partner's behalf. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Pisces. Clarify the lovers for Pisces. Clarify the lovers for Pisces. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Pisces, listen, you know, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Could be a partnership with work or business. And maybe you're receiving something with a partnership with work or business that actually changes your luck and fortune. Some type of legal binding contract that makes you abundant here. This is the initiation of it, the start of it. However, you can tell me that, yeah, something is off balance here because someone may be giving more somewhere else giving to two. Very well could be you with another other lover giving your time, your energy, your voice at night on the phone all night long sending you know, pictures and stuff and got FaceTiming and stuff, okay? It could be you, okay? Maybe you're giving more somewhere else, giving the two, or you're telling me that your partner did. Pisces, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Pisces, listen, like I said, it could be an actual change in your luck and fortune with some type of money here, the coins here. 
However, you can tell me that someone has commitment on the brain or you guys have a commitment marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to this. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Pisces could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. You know, Pisces, <clears throat> I feel like you're getting your wish here. Very well could be with money, assets, resources, property. Yes, some type of stability. But it could also be that you're ready to go into some type of commitment here. My thing is this, who is it with? Who is it with? Because I feel like you could be given more somewhere else, giving it to with another other lover. And I feel like this person is just, they have you wide open. I feel like you're ready to initiate something. I feel like you're ready to nurture the relationship. I feel like you're ready to go into a legal binding contract. But I'm not sure if it's with the person that you're with here. Because it's getting real hot and heavy with this soulmate connection, but yet you're giving to two different places. So it's almost like you have to let one go because you're getting ready to move to a new era with some, with this, uh, I, I want to say someone from your past. I really do. Someone you have history with here. Listen, Pisces, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace